Good morning. Today we shall see the difference between the finite difference method, finite volume method, and finite element methods. Especially, how we mathematically write them. The finite difference method is derived directly from the definition of differentiation. The higher order FDM is derived from the Taylor series. For a time dependent partial differential equation, the FDM method is. Now we shall move to FEM. For the time dependent partial differential equation, FEM can be written as. On the left side, you can see a bar indicating we are using cell average quantity. In another video, we shall see how we get the cell average TERM on the right hand side and why FEM is called conservative discretization. If you are interested in the conservative FORM of PDE, I have made a video I gave in the description. FEM is quite difficult to explain in this short video. I will try to give the flavor of the method of weighted residue, which is the mother of all the above methods, including FEM. In another video, we shall see how we can obtain FEM, FDM, and several variants of FEM from the method of weighted residue. Now we shall move to FEM, where we shall consider the following differential equation. We shall assume a trial or test function, which is an approximate solution to the equation we considered. C ice are the variable to be determined in the procedure. Because the test function may not ways exactly satisfy the differential equation, it will give a residue. In FAM, this residue is multiplied with some weighting functions so that the residue is zero. From this, we can determine the unknown values like C ices. I hope you got an overall flavor of FDM, FEM, and FEM. I will make a separate video for each method soon. Thank you for watching.